Dude and Hot Food, and we're back again with another spicy review. Today we got the Calbee Shrimp Chips. These are baked wheat puff snacks, hot garlic flavor, so unfortunately Mrs. Dude can't have any because of the wheat. But I can try them, so let's see what they're like. Those were a five below acquisition. Yeah, five below acquisition. Uh, Calbee, we've tried other stuff from them before and it's been good. Calbee Shrimp Chips, the original Japanese crunchy shrimp snack for more than 50 years, has become an American favorite too. Made from wild caught sea shrimps, this deliciously baked snack captures authentic flavors, including hot garlic, yuzu, and black pepper. So we've got the first one wasabi, and then the classic original of the other flavors. Enjoy sharing this delightfully crunchy treat with your family and friends. It's supposed to be spicy? Hot garlic, yeah, so. All right, well, let's just give it a shot. See what it's like. Yeah, I don't really see any specific peppers in there. Natural and artificial peppers or whatever. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. <laughs> this one is not clean. Oh yeah, that's a shrimpy smell. Oh yeah, that smells very shrimpy. I know it's definitely got that garlic in it. You can smell that. It smells like it got some some heat to it. Mm -hmm. Not bad flavor. Shrimpy, yeah. It's not as shrimpy as I was thinking it would be. It's kind of more mild, but it's got a good shrimp flavor for sure. Supposed to be hot though? Hot and garlic seasoning, so whatever that is. Soybeans, wheat. Soy sauce powder, MSG, pork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, it's about what you think. This one's from Thailand. Calbee is originally from Japan. Big dude hot take. MSG isn't necessarily a bad thing. No, MSG is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a matter of if you're like sensitive to it, I think. Yes. Because all it is by itself, it just enhances like flavor. It's like pure savory, basically. Yeah, and unfortunately, it causes my migraines and other yeah. issues for some people. But which is a real thing. Yeah. I just don't really have a problem with MSG myself. No. But from what I understand, and Uncle Roger says this too. The most important ingredient, MSG. How can you miss the king of flavor? That's flavor. You gotta have the MSG for it to be authentically like Asian food. <laughs> so <laughs> very good though. It's just not that spicy. I mean, this is hot garlic. I mean, yeah, maybe it's got a little bit of the heat to it. Like a one out of ten. Okay. Yeah, just a hint of a spice in there. But it's got a good flavor. Definitely for people that love seafood. Like if you like seafood flavor and shrimp especially. Give these guys a shot. Otherwise, it's pretty good. What's one of your favorite foods, big dude, besides spicy stuff? Shrimp. And? Octopus. Yep. Yeah, squid and octopus. Love that, yeah. Mrs. Dude is literally off, camp off yeah, yeah. camera. <laughs> <laughs> Takoyaki is one of my favorite Japanese dishes. And it's just octopus balls. Like, so good. Now, overall, I like it. This is right up my alley. Shrimpy flavored, you know, snap. I dig it. Good, about a one out of 10 chili peppers. Nagaraya, hot and spicy cracker nuts. I've not tried this brand before, but it says it's uh, out of the Philippines. This was a five below purchase, right? I believe so. This one I actually kind of forgot about for a while, so we're getting to it. Let's see if it's even spicy. It looks pretty interesting. It's supposed to have like a crunch to it. Heat up the fun with hot and spicy flavor and have a sizzle, was it sizzling? It says, <laughs> have a sizzling great time. It's like having fireworks with your snack or party. Mm. Huh, interesting. Enjoy the crunch, it says. We got, what, September is when this, so we're still good. I don't know, it could be spicy. Yeah, stop stalling, open it up. Let's see, what's it like? Ah, there we go. It smells like peanuts. Well, it is peanuts. Yeah, it just smells like straight peanuts. Oh, no hot spicy? No, it just smells like peanuts. <laughs> like a little bit of a spicy hint. Very, very mild. Cracker nuts, hot and spicy flavor. Let's just dig in. They are crunchy. But are they spicy? It's a lot to chew. <laughs> a little bit of a spice. 
Okay. Little tiny bit. I'd say it's a little bit more than the Calbee shrimp chips we just tried. Maybe about a two, one or two. But mostly it just tastes like crunchy peanuts. So is it kind of like a corn nut peanut hybrid? Yeah, so like a softer, bigger corn nut. Interesting, okay. Peanut hybrid though. The peanut flavor is there. It's got a sweet kind of peanut flavor. And then you get kind of on the back and you get almost like a cinnamon, how cinnamon is on the back mm. with the spice. But I like it actually. I'm, this is better than I was expecting. A little bit more spice than the shrimp chips though. The shrimp wheat puffs. So these are pretty good. Two out of 10 on the spice scale. If you like something with like a peanut flavor, but you want it a little bit more crunchy and softer than like a nut, like a corn nut kind of thing, give these guys a shot, I'd say. It says coated peanuts, so it has yeah, like a Yeah, it's coating. got like a coating. Okay. It reminds me of kind of what the Taki, the Taki's Hot Nuts, I think it was, that oh, I tried, okay. where it had like the coating on it. It's similar to that kind of thing, where it's like a soft kind of crunchy coating. It almost looks like walnuts or something, <laughs> the way that they're, like in case some of them really tasty actually. All right, so these are not gluten free for our yeah, celiac gluten free allergy friends. All right, so the ingredients are selected peanuts. Interesting, so maybe they had to be a certain size or shape. Mm -hmm. Wheat flour, sugar, modified cornstarch, natural flavoring, cayenne powder, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder. So that's where your spices yeah. are from. No artificial coloring, that's good. Maltodextrin, soybean extract, iodized salt, refined coconut oil, and monosodium glutamate. So there it is. And MSG is there. Yeah. Contains peanuts, wheat, coconut, and soy produced in a facility that uses milk. So if you have allergies, Probably use not. some caution. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, they sound like a really good yeah. snack. You get about 150 calories per serving. There's about five servings in the bag. 18 carbo grams of carbohydrate, a gram of fiber, and about four grams of protein. It's not bad. So I mean, it's not terrible. Yeah. Can give you a little midday pick, pick up snack. Maybe. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Another sweet treat from Vidal. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Vidal. They're gummy spicy mangoes this time. Last time I think it was cherries, and they were a little bit spicy. This one's supposed to be a little bit spicy mangoes. So I don't know. I've not had these before. I really haven't had too much Vidal. Should be interesting to see what these are like. Yeah, that was another uh, Five Below acquisition. Yeah, I think most of this has all been from like Five Below. This one is from New York, actually. Vidal Candies USA. Made in Spain, but they bring it over, I guess. Spicy mango flavored gummies. Ingredients. Corn syrup, sugar, gelatin, humectant, sorbitols, acids, citric acid, invert sugar syrup, modified cornstarch, gelling agent, pectins, natural and artificial flavor, cornstarch, acidity, regulator, sodium citrates, vegetable oil, palm mm. oil, mm. glazing agent, beeswax, carnauba wax color, Ooh. yellow five, red 40, yes. titanium dioxide. Gotcha. May contain yeah, here's a red 40 kid. May gotcha. contain traces of milk. So yeah, if you're trying to avoid um, <laughs> uh, like, like food dyes and stuff. If you can handle Takis, you can handle these. So about 110 calories for five pieces. There's about three servings per container. Uh, no fat, 26 grams of carbs. Um, yeah. 18 grams of sugar, uh, even a gram of protein. Interesting. All right. Well, let's just see what the real question is. Are these even spicy or what, man? Spicy mayo gummies. We've had some other sort of disappointments. They've had a little bit of spice, but to call them hot, it's kind of... Well, not from Vidal, but just in yeah, general. Yeah, the other one. So maybe Vidal will redeem the whole situation today. Let's see. <clears throat> Ooh, I like that smell already. <clears throat> wow, do you smell that mango? Holy, crap. got that mango smell. It does smell like it has a little bit of a spice to it. So I'll try just one right off the bat. It's kind of soft. Okay, sort of like in between a gummy and like a Laffy Taffy. Interesting, yeah. Flavor-wise, definitely mango. Let's see if we can get any spice from it though. <laughs> there we go, there it is. Okay. Now it's coming. Not bad, actually. I'd say it's another step up from the last one we tried. This is a three. Three chili pepper, because it's I, got... I remember the other one from Yeah, it had some, had some spice, so... Definitely does. So for the average person, it'd probably be like a five? Nah. Okay. Four or five, yeah. This is not bad. Well, I thought you say no and then agree with me. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes? Did you eat five? Maybe you need five to get the full effect. Would that be five now? I think this would be five. Okay. I'm gonna give this a two as well. You were up to a three, now it's back down to a two? 
Yeah, it's like a two. Two to three. We'll give it in between. Two or three. 2.5. Vidal gummy spicy mangoes. I'm giving it 2.5 out of 10 chili peppers. Another successful review. This one's pretty decent. I would probably get it again, but um, with the, all the different colors and stuff, I don't know. But it's very tasty though. Yeah. Very, very tasty. Like I said, unless you're you know sensitive to like food dyes, it's probably a pretty yeah. safe choice. Big Dude and Hot Dude signing out, and we'll see you guys in the next video.